Hello and welcome to the Tech Talk series by Quadrant Knowledge Solutions where we will be drilling down on various aspects of the uh, technologies in the business world and how these technologies help uh, all the businesses in uh, taking their business decisions on the technology diversification and the launching of new products. We will be inviting uh, a lot of uh, techno technocrats and technology professionals and thought leaders to discuss on various technology aspects, this, its applications and its impact on the business world. So today we are going to discuss um, on the on the prediction of uh, the technologies, emerging technologies in year year 2022 and beyond, and what kind of impact it will have on the business world. So as as you are aware that uh, there has been a lot of technology changes happening, especially in the last decade and more so in the last two years, when when the pandemic has really influenced the technology innovations. And and as as you are aware that the necessity is the mother of all inventions, and this necessity has also changed a lot. Uh, for, for, for the technology innovations. So earlier the necessity uh, used to be uh, like, uh, um, uh, like cutting the cost, improving the uh, quality of the product and of course the competitive pressures and improving the productivity. But now if you, uh, if you analyze, the, there has been a lot of changes in the customer requirements and the markets. So the necessity, has, <coughs> necessity of any technology innovation, it has become the flexibility. Flexibility to address the market needs, the changing market needs, the flexibility to address the changing customer requirements, and of course the flexibility to cope up with the ever-changing uh, economic uh, environment. So today we are going to discuss on the technology disruptions in a few years, uh, what kind of uh, technologies uh, landscape we can see or we can predict and how can it can help the businesses in uh, taking their business decisions in a much competitive and efficient way. So I am happy to call upon uh, Mr. Piyush Devangan, who is the founder and director of Quadrant Knowledge Solutions, who will be taking us through the technology changes which we can predict and what kind of impact and what kind of applications we can uh, see in the, in the near future. So Piyush, welcome to uh, the Tech Talk series in the first episode. And uh, I, would, I would like to uh, start with the first very obvious question that what kind of uh, emerging uh, game-changing technologies we can expect in the year and of course the coming years and what kind of uh, impact it will have on the business world. Yeah, uh, so first of all, thank you so much, Shekhar, for having me here. I think uh, we are, uh, uh, this year 2022 is a year of transformation, right? We have seen how the technology world, how the business world is going to transform or already transforming because of the COVID-19. We have all uh, observed how the dynamics of COVID-19 has an impact on a social, political, business, or technological landscape, right? So I keep talking to um, a lot of IT software vendors, and um, I keep talking to various uh, users, uh, stakeholders, service providers, consultants, and uh, I want to talk about the technologies that are going to have an impact on the ground. Like I'm, I keep uh, tracking uh, over 50 uh, technologies, right? But I want to focus on the top two technologies that are going to have an impact on the at the ground level, right? So first is um, a transition from robotic process automation to hyper automation. I think this is going to have an impact at the ground, right? We believe by 2025, companies need to adopt uh, hyper automation, not just to win over competition, but also to survive in the highly competitive business landscape. So what happens um, in the last five years, we have seen a tremendous growth, market adoption of robotic process automation. Companies have jumped into adopting these technologies. Uh, the primary reasons or primary driver is to uh, automate a lot of repetitive processes, manual processes to improve workforce productivity, to improve the overall uh, productivity of a company. So almost all the global companies, all the global leaders have some form of uh, process automation in their firm. Now the next was uh, the next trend from RPA or robotic process automation is intelligent automation, right? Where the uh, role of artificial intelligence is going to play a big role in optimizing or automating a little complex processes. But now we are seeing a trend towards hyper automation, right? A lot of technologies like RPA, uh, process mining, process discovery, intelligent document processing and task mining are converging to make a vision of hyper automation, right? The concept of hyper automation is we have to map all the operational as well as IT processes and then we should automate all the processes that can be automated. This is the next level of productivity improvements for the global companies. 
and i would also like to mention about the low code right how low code application building is changing um, the entire way how we are building designing applications from scratch earlier uh, as a business users if you're looking at um, um, uh, building any software you have to be dependent on the it developers but today because of the low code tools you don't have to talk to it developers you can use graphical user interface a lot of ui elements and so you can design applications yourself so a business users are empowered to create applications for the needs what they have but then there are two types of low code tools available one for the business users that focus on ease of use so business users can create a simple applications to uh, to get their work done but then there are other kind of low code tools uh, which uh, support even the most sophisticated developers to build uh, enterprise grade applications right for um, uh, for various applications obviously i have seen lot of uh, uh, b2e applications lot of uh, b2b applications to some extent i see uh, b2c applications are being built using low code platform so shaker i think these are the two uh, uh, transformation technology that are going to have an impact on ground perfect that's quite uh, very uh, apt observations you had so that leads to the second question from my side uh, so as as you know the customer experience has taking a very prime importance in all the businesses these days so what kind of uh, technologies or what kind of emerging trends you can see in improving the customer experience can you just throw some light on that obviously i think a uh, wonderful so um i think customer experience is something which is going to have an impact across everyone right not just a b2b world but also to the b2c world all of you including you and me i think we want a retailers um, or e-commerce players to target us on a personalized level who wants to receive a general messages right which is not targeted to you if somebody uh, wishes you birthday uh, if your e-commerce company can wish you your happy birthday can give you a custom offer to just yourself i think it's so very wonderful so the trend is uh, the from technology point of view the trend is moving from personalization to hyper personalization and what do i mean by this so uh, irrespective of how it is being marketed in the cx technology landscape personalization remains the meaning of personalization remains a micro segment of customers right it is not a wide segmentation but micro segment of customer and it has worked it is still working very well but then companies are looking at the next level of competitive uh, advantage right they want to uh, do better than their competitors so because of advancement of ai machine learning people are looking at from personalization to hyper personalization right where you can actually do one to one customer segmentation you can reach out to your high value customers one to one directly so you don't have to create a micro segments for various use cases you can reach one to one to have a better level of or next level of uh, customer experience uh, which will ultimately lead to a uh, customer loyalty right it will delight your customers so that's uh, my comment on that yeah perfect uh, i think in the years to come we can see a major focus happening on the uh, customer requirements and the customization so uh, again you uh, like you have already worked on this uh, cloud transformation projects for last few years so what is your experience in that what kind of uh, changes you can observe and what kind of uh, trends you can you can uh, predict in the years to come great shaker i think um, i love talking about how cloud transformation projects are happening right uh, from last one decade right uh, the decade was dedicated for cloud transformation companies have moved from their on premise to cloud environment cloud was a buzz last in the last decade even companies still are doing a lot of cloud transformation project in fact the meaning of digital transformation is becoming like a cloud transformation project but then what happened when the cloud computing became popular a lot of companies what they did was they did a lift and shift approach what do i mean by this so they had a system which were designed to work for an on premise environment they have lifted those systems and architected for the cloud environment so while the applications what you are using is in the cloud they were originally designed for on premise environment i think that's where the issue started coming right they uh, people started facing a lot of uh, flexibility issues agility issues and performance issues and then people are always looking for next level of transformation right a lot of innovators are doing a cloud native transformation so the trend is from cloud transformation there's a gradual shift toward the cloud native transformation right what does it mean is the application should be designed for working in a multi cloud environment 
right so you will see a next level of performance improvements next level of agility right that's where um, the architecture about microservice architecture api first economy and uh, something like kubernetes containers containers orchestrations platform all these are becoming popular we are already seeing a major shift right a lot of cloud transformation is now cloud native transformation a lot of vendors are promoting this like they are uh, changing their platform they're building from scratch for the cloud native transformation and we also see a lot of service providers right who are uh, building expertise to help uh, various customers how they can help uh, in their journey towards cloud native transformation not just cloud transformation yes so i think uh, I, I think this is one of the biggest trend uh, happening in the digital transformation landscape right yeah as you rightly mentioned the, the digital transformation so I'm I'm like uh, very tempted to ask that question about digital transformation. That has the buzzword. Digital transformation has become the buzzword since last few years. And uh, as you say, digital transformation is happening across the industries. It's like a beat insurance, beat banking and finance or manufacturing. So uh, my question is, uh, since in digital transformation there is a cyber security as well as the network security that play a very important role to make the digital transformation successful. So what are your views on that? Obviously, uh, without talking about security, I think a digital transformation has no place uh, in the market, right? And we have seen how the uh, information security has evolved over the years. There are so many tools we can, which claims to protect you from outsider threats. Now there are a lot of innovative vendors who are also looking at insider threats. They have made a lot of solutions for insider threats, but still something was missing. We needed a one architecture which can take care of entire internal as well as external threats. So uh, the trend, latest trend is towards the zero trust network security architecture and strategy. So what does it mean? It means you don't trust anyone. You do uh, right, super, uh, uh, you want to rely on user based on the extensive authentication and authorization. So you don't want to trust users on the first instant. It is the access is given based on the least privilege basis, right? So they have to do a lot of authentication and authorization before they can actually use the uh, application. They can access your resources. Now, what happens if um, um, any employee or any customer is trying to access some applications? They will have some limited level of access. Like there are certain number of applications they can access to. There are certain level of applications they can't access. Right? they're not authorized to access so this zero trust network security uh, strategy uh, says that those users should not be able to even see those applications so we are masking those applications even those applications are not even visible to the users so users can see the applications where they have access to and before they can access they have to do go through a lot of uh, authentication and authorization so i think um, uh, since digital transformation is a trend uh, net, uh, zero trust network security is going to be a next big thing in the network security or say cyber security market. Correct. So as, as Piyush, uh, you very rightly pointed out there are so many technologies coming in and businesses want to adopt to those technologies. So this aggressive adoption of uh, advanced technologies uh, is becoming mandatory for every kind of business. So that, that will also um, create some kind of opportunities, some kind of challenges. Uh, because they, every business uh, wants to be relevant as well as the competitive in the market. They can't afford to be behind the race. So for that to happen, they have to have the aggressive adoption of technologies, advanced technologies. So uh, <clears throat> having said that, uh, what are your uh, recommendations and observations to help the businesses make the right decisions in terms of the aggressive adoption of technologies? Great. Uh, <laughs> Before I make a comment, I must uh, say that I am not entirely agreeing to your thought process, right? I don't think uh, there has to be aggressive adoptions of the lot of advanced technologies. I feel um, uh, we are, uh, our market is disrupting on a daily basis. A lot of innovative companies are coming, a lot of new technologies are coming. I told you, right, I'm already tracking more than 50 uh, innovations that is happening in the IT software industry. So my concern is what users should do for having a right adoption of technology at the right time so they can have internal like performance improvements, productivity improvements, operational excellence. At the same time, they can win over competition, right? So I should say uh, my recommendation to the user should be um, don't look at technology from a technology trend points of view, right? The companies like us, we have a responsibility to track all the innovation that is happening. We'll keep talking about the new technologies that are coming up in the market. Doesn't mean you should take all the technologies just like that. Don't go with the trends. 
what you should look at it is look at your specific use cases look at your company specific use cases and also look at your competitors as well as your industry specific use cases so when you look at your company specific use cases you will look at the technologies that are very relevant for your industry for example there's a metaverse people are talking about there's a big buzzword right and it is here to stay people are going to adopt but does it mean everyone should adopt i think answer is no not everyone should jump just like that they should first understand their company specific needs their industry specific needs and also you should not miss some good technologies if you miss adopting trending technologies you will miss on competitive advantage maybe your competitor uh, is uh, looking leveraging the technologies to on their favor they are doing uh, they are serving their customer in a much better way than what you can do so definitely you must track those technologies the development around those technologies and then evaluate how much this technology trends are relevant for your company specific use cases right i think this is where uh, i love talking to users right they have very unique challenges when i talk to vendors they talk about features new technologies new innovations when i talk to users they have a very specific uh, challenge they don't care how much features you are offering they care how much features is relevant to them in most of the cases they are worried about ease of use they can buy technologies if their people are not using those technologies then the, all the benefits is gone so definitely uh, I, i would highly recommend all the users to not go with the trend but keep observing those trends keep evaluating those trends and how it is going to impact your company as well as your industry so you don't miss out on those trends so that will be my ultimate recommendations yeah perfect uh, you mean then uh, just adopt that uh, uh, strategy of like uh, wait watch and go for adoption or i can say there shouldn't be any impulsive adoption of technologies but it's more of a strategic adoption of technologies am i right this is yeah i think i would say uh, i'm not entirely agreeing to this but yes it is right sometimes you don't have to wait if uh, something is very relevant for industry you should just be the first mover correct but in most of the cases i think wait and watch approach uh, watch approach works well for the companies correct fine that's it from our side it was uh, really a pleasure uh, interacting with you you threw light on a lot of uh, aspects which are very useful and uh, exactly predicting what will happen in the technology space uh, in the in the future so thanks piyush it was pleasure having you here and i would say that i think uh, we are going to shoot a lot of tech talk series right so i'm very happy that shaker the way you have taken a lead in uh, starting this tech talk series right for the users for the listeners right i would highly recommend you to subscribe to this series of videos you are going to see a lot of interesting videos coming up right we are going to share a lot of strategies a lot of tech talks so which will really help you understand what's happening on the ground or on the innovation side so see you next time Thank you. So, uh, guys, uh, just just uh, uh, wait and watch for the next episode, which uh, where we'll bring in again uh, more people to talk on different technologies. So, make sure that uh, you uh, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So, in the meantime, do take care of yourself. Bye bye.